At the dawn of creation, when the primordial ancestor awakened from his slumber to save countless sentient beings, he sealed his memories and powers into mortal form as Yi Qin Yun. He led mortal Yi Qin Yun into reincarnation, experiencing a life similar to the one he had lived a thousand years ago. Only when Yi Qin Yun embraced his mortal existence and vanquished evil once again, could the danger be dispelled. Upon awakening, he bore within him the power of destruction, and to him, even the mighty demon king appeared as a mere kitten, and the din vine fruit of two thousand years seemed fit only for a dog's consumption. Under the sky atop Fu Yun Mountain, clouds gathered and thunder roared, signaling the eruption of the rare seven leaf red fruit after a thousand years. Two strange beams of light appeared in the sky, colliding and plummeting to the earth, revealing their true forms upon impact. As the dust settled, a demon cat emerged, emitting a furious aura beyond compare. The seven leaf red fruit is the key to victory in the three sect martial arts competition. Not even a condensation realm great demon can stop me. Facing off against the demon cat was Yun Jian's sect master, Su Chang Fong. Su Chang Fong gripped his sword and summoned his strength to charge straight at the demon cat, prepared for a battle of life and death. However, just before the decisive moment, a sudden crack echoed out of nowhere. Both the demon cat and Su Chang Fong turned to look as a sealing order was removed, followed by a triumphant laughter. Emerging from the dust was someone who exclaimed, After so many years, Yi Qin Yun has finally come out. What will our future on the mainland be like? It turned out to be Yi Qin Yun and De Mao. Seeing the demon cat, Yi Qin Yun joked with De Mao, saying, Look, De Mao, there's a cat from a different world. Enraged at being called a mere cat, the demon cat charged furiously towards Yi Qin Yun. Only to suddenly transform from a ferocious beast into a small, innocent kitten, mewing softly, witnessing this scene, Su Chang Fong was taken aback. Seeing Yi Qin Yun's calm demeanor in the face of the demon cat, he silently thought, a single word could transform a condensation realm beast back to its original form. He must be the expert sealed away in Mount Fu Yun for a thousand years. With that realization, he stepped forward to introduce himself to Yi Qin Yun, acknowledging that if not for the expert's intervention, he would surely have perished at the hands of the demon cat that day. When did I look up you? Yi Qin Yun, with innocent curiosity, scratched his head before asking in return, isn't that demon cat just a cat? Su Chang Fong was shocked by the question, wondering to himself, is this really the world of the strong? He gestured towards the seven-leaf red fruit and told Yi Qin Yun, this seven-leaf red fruit belongs to you, expert. Before he could finish his sentence, he couldn't believe that the two-thousand-year-old seven-leaf red fruit was being used by Yi Qin Yun to feed dogs, expert, you haven't taken your seven-leaf red fruit, Su Chang Fong called out as Yi Qin Yun hurried away. But Yi Qin Yun calmly replied, I have plenty of these, so I'm giving them to someone else. Before leaving immediately, Su Chang Fong bowed deeply, expressing his gratitude, saying, Thank you, expert, for bestowing this treasure upon us. Yi Qin Yun found this somewhat puzzling. It's just some tomatoes, why make such a big deal out of it? Besides, I'm not even an expert, he thought to himself. He remembered back on Mount Fu Yun when he was just a mortal struck by lightning, thrown into a crossover without reason. He was even forced to learn various skills under a system, facing punishment if if you run away, you will be struck by lightning into a dry corpse. Certainly, it was extremely difficult, just recalling it made Yi Qin Yun shudder with cold sweat. Day by day, Yi Qin Yun diligently worked to complete the tasks assigned by the system. It took ten years, but finally, he learned how to lift the Ta Mountain Ban. However, the system vanished without granting any rewards, leaving Yi Qin Yun resentfully questioning, what kind of system doesn't reward you after crossing over without hacks, reflecting on those memories, Yi Qin Yun, while munching on a piece of meat, confided in De Mao, De Mao, in the future, will live in different worlds. Want some food? Jump a bit higher. He joked happily with De Mao, his mood filled with excitement. Suddenly, out of nowhere, appeared a beautiful young woman, her appearance urgent and frantic. 
She knelt down hastily and implored Yi Qin Yun, young master, please help me. Seeing the beautiful woman suddenly seeking his aid, Yi Qin Yun tossed aside the meat, took up the weapon in his hand, and declared confidently, no problem. Miss, are you lost? The young woman hesitantly explained, I'm being chased and hunted by evil cultivators. As soon as Yi Qin Yun heard evil cultivators, he broke out in a cold sweat, then his attitude abruptly changed 180 degrees, I am not duty-bound to help, bye. But before he could leave, the young woman shook her head, it's too late, the evil cultivators have arrived. Where? Yi Qin Yun turned back to look, and from behind him, a stream of murderous intent seemed to rush towards them. In an instant, the dark aura tightly enveloped the young woman, lifting her up despite her desperate cries. Despite the apparent danger, Yi Qin Yun remained oblivious and looked around curiously, wondering, who's here? The Mao sat beside him, yawning with his mouth wide open, then suddenly emitted an incredibly powerful aura, causing the dark energy surrounding the girl to dissipate. Yi Qin Yun turned back and asked, didn't you say the evil cultivators were here? Why didn't I see anything? And why are you sitting on the ground crying for no reason? The young woman, having just faced a calamity, didn't expect such a question. She wiped her tears and silently thought, if the dog is this formidable, how powerful is its master? Then, she stood up and introduced herself to Yi Qin Yun, I'm Bai Su Yi, thank you for saving me. May I ask, senior, are you? Before she could finish her sentence, her mouth couldn't open anymore. She glanced at the Mao beside her, then heard his voice saying, Shu, my master prefers modesty. It's better not to ask too many questions, young lady. Bai Su Yi was surprised, this is secret sound transmission technique, indeed, dealing with experts is not something I can easily predict. Understanding, she quickly explained, I, a weak girl, was blown down by the wind. Just now, my vision blurred, mistaking the demon wind for evil cultivators, blown down by the wind? Are you really that fragile? Yi Qin Yun, naively believing her, advised her to remember to drink plenty of hot water and exercise regularly. Bai Su Yi brushed her hair back and confessed, no need to hide anything. Young Master Since childhood, I've been afflicted with the illness of cold syndrome. Even the best doctors are helpless, and the treasures of nature can only sustain my life. Who can foresee such a tragic fate, where one falls into a wilderness of willows and strange flowers? Yi Qin Yun, feeling exasperated, muttered, the people of this different world are truly troublesome. It's just a cold syndrome, there's no need to wax poetic about life and death like this. As soon as he finished speaking, Bai Su Yi's eyes lit up, can you cure this illness? young master. Yi Qin Yun calmly replied, it's a simple matter. Suddenly, Bai Su Yi's complexion brightened. Dare I ask, young master, what miraculous method you have for treatment? In my world, there's a mysterious system of divine healing, Yi Qin Yun pulled out a giant, oversized cupping jar from within him. It turned out that the miraculous treatment method was cupping, as soon as Bai Su Yi saw the jar, she seemed overwhelmed, this jar is so big, I can't handle it, Yi Qin Yun appeared extremely excited as he said, not only can it cure your cold syndrome, but it can also make you swoon with delight, he added, after using it, you'll feel full of energy, your physical strength will be abundant, and you can wield your sword 8,000 times without feeling tired at all. Bai Su Yi Startled, asked skeptically, Wielding a sword 8,000 times, wouldn't that enhance cultivation? Yi Qin Yun laughed and replied, Well, it's not entirely impossible. Hearing this, Bai Su Yi pushed aside her doubts and eagerly said, Let's try it now. Thus, Yi Qin Yun led Bai Su Yi back to his residence. Arriving at the elixir pharmacy of Mount Fu Yun, Yi Qin Yun hesitated a bit, however, with this method, you'll need to lie down on the bed and remove your clothes. Before he could finish, Bai Su Yi had already undressed, blushing as she turned back shyly. Su Yi is ready, please proceed, young master, Yi Qin Yun smirked wickedly, with such a fair back, not cupping would be a waste. It must be filled, it must be filled indeed. 
Before cupping, he pondered, but how do I remove the cup afterwards? He took out his phone from within himself, causing Bai Su Yi to turn around sheepishly and ask, Young master, are you calling me, not calling you? Yi Qin Yun quickly turned Su Yi back around, staring intently at his phone as he muttered to himself, figuring out how to remove the cupping jar. After a moment, it seemed Yi Qin Yun found what he was looking for, his eyes lighting up. All right, anyway, she wouldn't understand, so let's just go with it. He said. Yi Qin Yun then lit a candle and burned around the mouth of the cupping jar. As soon as it was burned, an extraordinary force swiftly enveloped by Su Yi, the sky at this moment gathered clouds, emitting a golden light, while a powerful spiritual force emanated from Mount Fu Yun. The people below the mountain, seeing the sky suddenly glowing with an unusual golden color, called out to each other, all kneeling down in reverence, the spirit of Mount Fu Yun has appeared, the spirit of Mount Fu Yun has appeared. In a temple in the village, Huo Xiao Yun, with a puzzled expression, leaned against a pillar, looking up at the sky. Even Su Chong Fong, standing on a nearby mountain range, took notice, his expression inscrutable. What could it be? He wondered, though it was already night, the room of Yi Qin Yun and Bai Su Yi still emanated an aura. Inside, Yi Qin Yun was still diligently cupping Su Yi. She, feeling a bit impatient, asked, Yi young master, are you not finished yet? Just one final step, Yi Qin Yun chuckled in response. After a while, the cupping was finally completed perfectly. Yi Qin Yun looked at Bai Su Yi's now blushing back, then turned to inquire, How do you feel now? Bai Su Yi. Holding her clothes, blushed and replied sheepishly, Su Yi feels very hot all over, almost unbearable. As she finished speaking, Bai Su Yi suddenly breathed out a flame, startling Yi Qin Yun. Can she really breathe fire? he exclaimed. Bai Su Yi, somewhat surprised herself, said, The cold syndrome in my body has completely disappeared, and my cultivation has even increased by a whole realm. She happily boasted to Yi Qin Yun, Young master, this cupping method is truly effective. Of course, Yi Qin Yun boasted proudly, our flower nation's traditional medicine is profound and has a long history, mainly. Suddenly, his expression turned serious. Bai Su Yi approached him, asking, Young master, is something wrong? See for yourself, Yi Qin Yun presented the jar in front of Bai Su Yi. As she looked inside, she was greeted by a pile of wriggling, slimy worms, causing her to scream loudly and reflexively push the jar out of Yi Qin Yun's hand. As the jar fell, the mass of worms writhed on the floor. Yi Qin Yun, unaware that there seemed to be something unusual about the worms, simply advised Bai Su Yi to pay more attention to cleanliness in the future. Bai Su Yi, on the other hand, kept nervously gesturing towards the back of Yi Qin Yun, her face filled with fear. Behind Yi Qin Yun were three enormous demon earthworms, approaching with a ravenous appetite, unbeknownst to him, young master, Bai Su Yi shouted fearfully, there's a demon earthworm behind you. Hearing this, Yi Qin Yun turned around and immediately faced the three grotesque demon earthworms directly. However, his expression remained strangely frozen, my aquatic illusion mind trap has hit him, he can't move anymore, the other demon earthworm spoke. Swallow him first, then eat that girl later, without further ado, the demon earthworm immediately lunged to devour Yi Qin Yun. He quickly dodged, continuously vomiting and lamenting, disgusting. The other demon earthworm, surprised by the sudden outburst, muttered, a mortal couldn't see me, nor can he avoid me, unwilling to relent, the demon earthworm continued to attack Yi Qin Yun, but he skillfully evaded every strike, playing as if it were a game. He even appeared to be searching for something, saying, where is it? Where did it go? This is truly disgusting. After a thorough search, he finally found it, a fan. Bai Su Yi, witnessing this, could only admire, truly an expert. Yi Qin Yun, with a tense expression, turned back and asked, expert in what? He wielded the fan forcefully, speaking with an angry tone, little sister, pay attention to hygiene in the future. This insect is too disgusting. 
The demon earthworm that was so formidable earlier now continuously fell victim to Yi Qin Yun's strikes, unable to evade them. Witnessing the scene, Bai Su Yi was rendered speechless. In her eyes, all she could see was Yi Qin Yun battling the demon earthworms. After a while, Yi Qin Yun used a cloth to wipe away the mess on the floor, causing the demon earthworms to vanish into thin air, Yi Qin Yun sighed, finally, the air has been purified. Now, he looked at Bai Su Yi and thought to himself, oh, I might have offended the female cultivator with my words. I hope that out of respect for cupping, if say sorry, you probably won't hit me, Yi Qin Yun approached Bai Su Yi with a smile and began, ahem, Su Yi, I helped you cure your cold syndrome, but regarding the hygiene, before Yi Qin Yun could finish his sentence. Bai Su Yi rushed forward and leaned on him, saying, young master's life-saving grace cannot be repaid. Su Yi is willing to offer herself in return. At this moment, she intended to fall into Qin Yun's arms to express her gratitude. However, he quickly dodged aside and angrily scolded, Hey, little thief! This caused her to stumble and fall to the ground, her face flushed with embarrassment, Little thief dares to steal pears from this boss, outside there is a boy climbing a tree to pick pears. The boy also noticed that the homeowner had seen him, so he became extremely panicked. Yi Qin Yun was about to kick the window and chase after him when Su Yi loudly exclaimed, Yi young master, about what Su Yi just said. Before she could finish her sentence, Yi Qin Yun interrupted, I have urgent matters to attend to. We'll talk about it later, after speaking, Yi Qin Yun chased after the thief, shouting, Hey, stop right there. You've already stolen, now you're running. The boy, startled, replied, I'll pay you back later, please don't chase me. Meanwhile, inside the room, Su Yi swayed and said, What's wrong with ye young master? Am I, a beautiful girl, not as valuable as those pears? Then she looked outside and exclaimed. Oh my, is that a three thousand year old Xian Tian spiritual fruit? She pondered, I wonder who ye young master really is and what his background is. At that moment, her jade pendant, a spiritual communicator, also sounded. She whispered, the sect is summoning me. There must be something significant happening, meanwhile, at the asking the heart platform of the Nine Spirit Sect, after running back for a while, Sui finally arrived and asked, Master, why did you urgently summon me? A disciple standing beside her said, Senior sister, Su Chang Fong has made breakthroughs twice in one day. This time, the three sects are worried that our Jiu Ling sect will lose, Su Yi asked, why would that be? At this point, the master of the Jiu Ling sect, Dong Sun Yu, sighed and said, All right, all right. Throughout history, many have been deceived by false reputations. It's better to live with a false reputation than to endure. The first of the three sects is just a false reputation, our master doesn't care, Su Yi then spoke cheerfully, Master, don't worry. I have a plan now that can help you break through to the next realm and surpass the current situation, after hearing her. The master, who had just dismissed the importance of reputation, hurriedly approached Su Yi as if he were a rocket, grabbing her and asking, Is this true? Why didn't you say so earlier, Su Yi explained, During my training outside, I encountered an expert who used a cupping technique. Not only can it eliminate toxins, but it also increased my cultivation by three levels, the master pondered silently, could this cupping technique be the legendary three-foot true flame? But why would such an expert help us? Then Su Yi said, the junior sister greatly admires young master. Due to my persistent infatuation, I've run out of options. If master is willing to accept, then we will be a family in the future. As soon as she finished speaking, the master grabbed her and took her sword, there was no time to waste, but upon arriving at Mount Fu Yun, where Yi Qin Yun resided, the master became furious, saying, it's impossible, absolutely impossible. This boy has no cultivation at all. There's no way he could be an expert. Below them, there was a marathon race among three participants, two humans and a dog. Currently, the thief was in the lead, followed by Yi Qin Yun, and the dog was last. The master angrily exclaimed. 
you're clearly infatuated with handsome men to the point of madness. How dare you joke about it with your master, Su Yi, also concerned, said, Master, I really am infatuated with handsome men. Oh, I mean, I really didn't deceive you. At this moment, Yi Qin Yun surged ahead and teased, Hey, kid, why aren't you running? Are you tired already? Suddenly, the kid was startled as a rabbit demon appeared ahead. Hee hee, let's see what I've found. A mortal and a kid with extraordinary bone. At that moment, three or four other pairs of gleaming red eyes chimed in, saying, The feast is here. Those three figures saw that there was a mortal, a hundred-year-old rabbit demon, and an extraordinary child on this side, and their mouths watered. At that moment, Su Yi's master panicked and said, that's a demon of the condensation realm, we must go save him. Seeing her master rush, Su Yi tried to stop him. The old man became angry and said, Su Yi, what are you stopping me for? Remember, the mission of the Jiu Ling sect is to eradicate demons and ghosts. Faced with this situation, we certainly cannot stand idly by. She replied confidently, Su Yi is not afraid of life or death. Please don't worry, Master. Yi Qin Yun can handle this. The old man nodded and said, Let's see what he's capable of. At this point, the young thief was too frightened to run anymore, while Yi Qin Yun kept playing around, asking, Why aren't you running anymore? The thief turned back in fear and said, Can't you see? Then the rabbit demon rushed in and said, Eating him can increase my cultivation by five hundred years. Behind them, the three great demons chased eagerly craving their prey. Eating them can increase our cultivation by a hundred years, the rabbit demon said as it rushed closer, its aura thick and dense. The young thief thought this was the end, but then a hand grabbed the rabbit and it reverted back to its original form. The rabbit demon, confused by what was happening, struggled while Yi Qin Yun said, this rabbit really likes you, the young thief felt his heart drop when he saw three great demons still approaching from behind. They swayed and said to each other, this one has some skill, but it's no match for us. There's nothing we can't handle. At this point, the old man said, this kid is in deep trouble now. Then Yi Qin Yun saw them, feeling excited and arrogant. Like little monkeys and foxes, and even a female fox, watching this scene from the side, Su Yi was extremely anxious, covering her mouth with her hand, then calling out to her master. The old man, thinking Yi Qin Yun was done for, turned away, saying, Su Yi, the dead cannot be brought back to life. I will personally find you another marriage. Su Yi pointed ahead and said to him, Master, young master has already subdued the great demons, and he didn't even need to use any magic. The old man turned back in alarm to see that two of the great demons had been grabbed by the neck and lifted up. They didn't understand why or how they had reverted to their original forms without being able to use any magic. The old man, astonished, said, Capturing condensation realm demonic beasts barehanded? Is this young master's cultivation at an extremely profound level to accomplish this so effortlessly? Yi Qin Yun's eyes were now sinister, as if he wanted to cook these two demons, but then he hugged them and said, You guys belong to me now. What should I name you? How about Rabbit 8, Monkey Brother Hu Jing Jing, what do you think, at this point, the young thief marveled. Thinking, this person is too powerful. If I could worship him as my master, no one would dare bully me again. The monkey demon and fox demon also chirped and meowed to inform the bull demon, Big Brother Bull, have you seen the two little disciples, our younger siblings, being bullied? The bull demon then charged at Yi Qin Yun with all his might. Seeing him coming, Yi Qin Yun sighed with annoyance at these demons. They thought our house had too much rice to keep coming here like this. Thinking quickly, Yi Qin Yun took out a red handkerchief, twirled it around, and then threw it. It disoriented the bull demon, who chased after the red handkerchief, running far away. Yi Qin Yun wiped his sweat and said, It's done. But before three seconds had passed, there was a splash and the bull demon got a free swimming lesson, leaving Yi Qin Yun stunned as he said, Oh no, if this bull messes up the water in my pond, all the fish will probably die, 
at this point, the young thief called out, Gentlemen, stop. But even more eager than him was Su Yi's master, who said, This marriage proposal is extremely good, there's no time to waste. I'll go ask for your hand. Wait. Wait, master, hold on. I haven't finished putting on makeup yet. Seeing Yi Qin Yun running towards the pond, the young thief kept calling out, gentlemen, repeatedly, while behind them, Gong Sun Yu kept cheering, afterwards, Gong Sun Yu respectfully said, Gong Sun Yu of the Jiu Ling sect thanks the young master for helping to heal the frostbite for our Su Yi, allowing her to preserve her life. Seeing the courteous demeanor of the elder, Yi Qin Yun waved his hand cheerfully and said, it's nothing, just a small matter. The elder then adopted a serious expression and said, a life-saving grace cannot be considered a small matter. The Jiu Ling sect wishes to propose a marriage alliance with Yi Young Master so that little disciple Su Yi can repay the debt with her life. Hearing this, Yi Qin Yun was taken aback and said, What? I've only met her a few times. Even if we were to get married in the blink of an eye, this is too sudden. Isn't it a bit outdated to believe that seeing someone's body means they owe you their life? Are you too conservative? But at that moment, the little bull great demon, who had been crying earlier, was now screaming underwater because there was an extremely terrifying presence down there. Causing it immense horror. Then a holy dragon suddenly bit the little bull, almost devouring it whole, as if it was having breakfast. At this point, even the disciples realized that witnessing such a scene might not be possible in a lifetime, let alone a mere reincarnation, terrified, Su Yi said, Master, this, this is. Seeing the two masters silent and serious, Yi Qin Yun thought they were angry, so he waved his hands quickly and said, Don't be angry, I was just kidding. Let me explain. Cupping involves removing clothing, entirely within the scope of a mortal's routine. I had no intention of disrespecting anyone. Perhaps there was a misunderstanding due to the doctor's kindness so uncle might have misunderstood, Yi Qin Yun murmured. Then suddenly, the elder knelt down and said, Young master, you are extraordinary and transcendent. Gong Sun Yu is extremely respectful. Please accept me as your disciple. This action startled Yi Qin Yun, who exclaimed, What is this old man doing? He quickly ran over to Su Yi and asked, Is there something wrong with your master's head? Su Yi replied, Young master, don't worry. I won't let my master cause any trouble. Then she pulled him back and said resentfully. Master, how could you do that? If you worship young master as your master, doesn't that mean he'll be my master's master? There is no master who would marry a disciple, the elder chuckled and said, we each have our own perspectives, and they're not related. She shook her head firmly and said, no, absolutely not. Seeing his disciples' firm stance, the elder said, Forget about the marriage now, let's just worship him as our master. At that moment, another voice spoke up. Or do you want Gong Sun Yu to sacrifice his disciple for your own benefit? He pointed at the elder and scolded, You're so lacking in morals, yet you still want to worship ye young master as your master. After being reprimanded, the elder couldn't stop swaying because what he said made sense, but then he said, I'm different. Because I was the first one to meet ye young master, so if anyone is going to take disciples, it should be me first, the elder was pushed aside, so he chased after him to argue, you annoying little thief, I arrived first. At this point, the two stood before Yi Qin Yun and said, Su Chang Fong, Gong Sun Yu is willing to worship young master as their master. Witnessing this scene again, Yi Qin Yun was endlessly shocked, not understanding what they were doing. When he glanced over and saw Su Chang Fong kneeling on the ground, he bitterly thought, What a cunning old thief, no need to show off, I'll kneel too. At this moment, Yi Qin Yun helped the two stand up, but then he looked over and saw Gong Sun Yu also naturally kneeling down, which made Yi Qin Yun feel quite irritated. You two are over 100 years old and still kneeling like this, do you want me to suffer and die? At this point, Yi Qin Yun was quite angry and shouted loudly, I'm just a mortal, why should I go and worship as a master? The two old men looked at each other, not knowing what to say that would be reasonable. Are you sure? 
or should you turn around and see first? As soon as he finished speaking, Yi Qin Yun rolled his eyes and said, I'm filming this one hundred times, I'm just a mortal, that, shaking his head, Yi Qin Yun continued, you're both leaders of sects and must be cautious in your words and actions. You're both my elders, and considering our ages, at most I can only be the master of this little demon. As soon as he finished speaking, the kid knelt down and bowed his head, disciple Guo Xiao Yun pays respects to master. Seizing the opportunity, this kid caught on to the situation better than a master, leaving Yi Qin Yun fuming and saying, Seriously, are you mocking me? The two old men also stared in shock, Oh my, this kid wants to worship as a disciple too, and he's even been accepted, then they rushed over and said, Ye gentlemen, accepting us as disciples will make you the master of Jiu Ling sect, and everyone in Jiu Ling sect will obey you. Su Chang Feng didn't want to be left behind either, so he said, the disciples of Yun Jian sect are much better in quality, ye gentlemen. Then, to diffuse the tension, Yi Qin Yun called out to them, stop competing with each other. I've decided to accept this little demon as my disciple. If you both agree, we can go to Fu Yun Mountain for a meal and the worship ceremony. After a while, Yi Qin Yun brought out the hot pot and placed it on the table. As they sat down to eat, the two old men kept exchanging glances, each feeling that the other had gained an advantage by having the little demon chosen. Yi Qin Yun then placed the hot pot on the table and said, Gentlemen, let's not be angry anymore. Let's enjoy our meal together. Look at the main dish I prepared today, a mixed vegetable hot pot like no other. As he lifted the lid, a radiant light emitted from the pot, dazzling everyone. Su Chang Feng sweated nervously, saying, This light is a magical color weapon. The two old men were also astonished when they saw that the hot pot contained rare herbs such as thousand-year-old phoenix grass, three-thousand-year-old king mushrooms, bone-strengthening seaweed growing on rocks, primal essence crystals for enhancing the core, and demon-cleansing herbs to purify the meridians and strengthen the bones. Yi Qin Yun stood by and listened to the two old men discussing, then he asked with a full head. Isn't this supposed to be a carrot meeting? Why is there a whole passage? Su Yi asked. Does Yi gentlemen really want to invite us to eat this? After seeing Yi Qin Yun nod, the three of them eagerly grabbed their chopsticks. Since each chopstick could increase cultivation by ten years, no one wanted to yield to anyone else, Yi Qin Yun wiped his sweat and said, Are you not feeling the spiciness? This is an extremely spicy hot pot. Gong Sun Yu chimed in, isn't it like feeling a burning sensation in your chest, like it's about to ignite? Then Su Yi, on the side, started spewing flames like in an action movie, while the old man stroked his beard and said, it seems like this is the effect of this hot pot. Su Yi ran around the courtyard spewing flames like she was at a circus, making Yi Qin Yun exclaim, mortals don't spew flames when eating hot pot. Hurry up and get some water to put out the fire, but Gong Sun Yu stopped he, saying, this is Su Yi's breakthrough in her inner fire. It can't be extinguished. Suddenly, Su Chang Feng felt something, sensing spiritual energy swirling around him. Then he laughed heartily and emitted a powerful aura, leaving Yi Qin Yun astonished and asking, how can he do that? Su Chang Feng drew his sword with a solemn expression, then leaped into the sky, creating a spectacular display before swinging his sword wildly. Then he laughed and said, I understand now. I finally understand. Yi Qin Yun, looking pale, asked, How can you understand from eating carrot? Just as Su Yi stopped spewing flames and said, Master, young master, I've broken through to the great enlightenment realm, the old man trembled and said, Very good. When Yi Qin Yun looked back, he jerked in surprise, asking, what happened to you? Did you develop epilepsy from eating hot pot? The old man reassured him, Ye young master, I'm fine, I just. Before he could finish, he emitted a powerful aura. About to speak again, he intended to say, Gentlemen, I understand, but Ye Qin Yun quickly covered his mouth, saying, All right, we get it, you understand. Then thunder rumbled in the sky, and in the distance, someone floating in midair observed. It was Tian Wu's master, 
Dong Fang Su, who sighed and said, Why did Gong Sun Yu and Su Chang Feng both break through at the same time? Could it be that this person pointed it out? Dong Fang Su wondered aloud. The two elders then clasped their hands respectfully and said, We owe this opportunity to Yi Young Master's assistance. In the future, if the young master has any instructions, we will absolutely not refuse. Yi Qin Yun sighed and said, I didn't really help much, so you two don't need to be so polite, then Yi Qin Yun yawned, feeling sleepy after eating and drinking, saying, I'm feeling sleepy now, so I'll go inside and rest for a bit. You all can continue without me. Dong Fang Su then spoke, congratulations on your cultivation advancement, both of you. Did you improve because of the guidance from the expert? Guo Xiaoyun intervened, asking them to keep their voices down because him master was resting. The two elders panicked and agreed to speak quietly until the expert woke up, at which point they would introduce themselves to him. Suddenly, Dong Fang Su exclaimed in horror, realizing that something was happening in the Tian Wu sect. Then a streak of golden light rushed toward them, and a disciple announced that the master of the Tin Van to Not Fuang Vu Three sect wanted to seize the Tian Wu sect's spiritual resources. They have gathered hundreds of thousands of evil cultivators at the doorstep, and the Tian Wu sect's main defense is about to be breached. The elder shook his head and said, the number of cultivators in the Tian Wu sect is not even ten thousand, while the enemy has hundreds of thousands. How can we fight them? He looked at the house and thought that only seeking help from an expert could solve this, but at that moment, the elder was stopped by the other two, saying they were not allowed to disturb Yi Young Master's rest. The enraged elder exclaimed, Su Chang Fong, the lives of tens of thousands of members of Tian Wu sect are not as important as his sleep. Standing aside, Gong Sun Yu also said, With just a hundred thousand evil cultivators, there's no need to bother the expert. Su and I are enough, then, the elder instructed Su Yi to stay here while he went away for a bit, and later, the three of them all rushed off to seek assistance. At Tian Wu Sek's location, the evil cultivators were attacking their main defense, and some had breached the gap and were infiltrating, killing like there was no one to oppose them, Dong Fang Su, alarmed, said that all these evil cultivators were at the mid and late stages of the condensation realm. Seeing the elder's concern, Gong Sun Yu stepped forward to speak. Huh, let's not stir up the spirits of others. Watch how I drive away the enemy. The elder then gathered his spiritual energy into a purple lotus flower from the Dianthus fire and hurled it at the evil cultivators, causing them to perish instantly. Pleased with himself, the elder said, Su, my junior, what do you think of my technique, it's not bad, brother. Watch this. With those words, Su raised his sword to the sky, creating thunderous flashes. He then called forth myriad troops with a thunderous roar, striking down upon the evil cultivators, who cried out and scrambled to flee, both sides, newly elevated in cultivation, were eager to display their prowess. Witness my fire, exclaimed one. While the other continued to summon troops, leaving the master of the Tian Wu sect speechless, overwhelmed by the spectacle. He exclaimed that this was the divine scene the expert had previously pointed out, just then, Gong Sun Yu's magical amulet glowed. Before he could answer, Su Yi warned, Master, speak softly. Yi young master is about to wake up from the noise. The two elders were startled and quickly covered the mouths of the others to prevent any further disturbance. Dong Fang Su also became suspicious and asked what was happening, but Su Chang Feng quickly gestured for him to remain silent. Concerned, the two elders asked, How is Yi Young Master now? Su Yi replied that the young master was still sleeping, making the two elders break out in a cold sweat, then, the two elders angrily scolded, You fight and make noise, do you know that you have disturbed the young master's sleep? The others wailed, Damn it, you fight so fiercely that you're worried about disturbing someone else's sleep? Just then, all three were shocked to see a disturbance behind them, behind them, three figures approached with ancient long knives, laughing, Dong Fang Su. Today we will wipe out the Tian Wu sect. These three were the masters. Seeing this, 
the three elders felt a sense of impending trouble. The figure warned them to surrender the spiritual resources in exchange for their lives. As soon as he finished speaking, he was hit in the face by a scream saying, This is so noisy. To see what happens next, stay tuned for the next episode, that's the end of the story. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Hello everyone, I'm Lucy. Today I'll be reviewing the latest episode of the story for you all. Let's get into the main content of this story. At this time, while Yi Qin Yun was sleeping, some members of the evil sect surrounded and attacked the Tian Wu sect, causing a loud disturbance that woke him up. Yi Qin Yun rushed to the window and shouted loudly, Are those guys over there building a house or something? How can they be so noisy, don't they know people need to sleep? After shouting for a while, Yi Qin Yun also felt a headache with these people. I can't even get a bit of peace while sleeping. Purple Sun Sect Sect Master, Yan Wei, was horrified and asked, Who is screaming so loudly? He turned around to look. Suddenly feeling something was off, as if someone's gaze was fixed on him. He panicked and said, Which expert is here? Why don't you reveal yourself to greet me? Then, the other Sect Masters also turned around, their faces turning pale with fear. Oh my god, there was a giant golden holy dragon, many times larger than their ancient Jiao dragon. It roared angrily, whoever disturbs my master's rest must die. Below, the three of them along with a Jiao dragon were trembling in fear, and then it spewed out bursts of dragon energy, making it impossible for them to avoid and disappearing into nothingness. Dong Fang Su at this moment also exclaimed in astonishment, Is this the divine punishment of the expert? The evil sect members have already scattered before a single breath. This power is truly terrifying. Seeing him so frightened, Su Chang Feng explained to him, there's no trickery involved. This is just the consequence of anyone daring to disturb the expert's rest. Upon hearing this, Dong Fang Su was on the verge of losing his wits, as he had once barged in to disturb the expert's sleep. Oh my, I almost met my end there, he thought. Suddenly, a bright pillar of light accompanied by the sound of Buddhist chants resounded, those who slander the true Dharma, the Bodhisattva is compassionate. Illuminating the five realms with boundless light, relieving suffering and distress. Then, waves of chanting echoed throughout, audible to everyone, meanwhile, as the two opposing sides were engaged in battle, they suddenly stopped. Dong Fang Su also expressed surprise, why are the evil sect members behind us kneeling and trembling like that? Each of them sobbed and lamented, in such a beautiful world, why are we so reckless and childish? Suddenly, amidst the tranquility, individuals who were once peaceful had joined this absurd sect and were now wielding clubs to engage in combat. What in the world am I doing here, I just want to seek refuge in the Buddha's teachings to purify my mind and repent for my past mistakes, exclaimed one member. Dong Fang Su stood nearby, startled, what are they talking about? What kind of situation is this? Meanwhile, Yi Qin Yun was transcribing the Heart Sutra to alleviate his worries before going to sleep. The more he transcribed, the clearer the image of the Buddha appeared behind him, in a distant and snowy place, two girls sat on the ground while a voice questioned, You say my son is dead? Yes. They killed sect master Purple Sun, Yang Wei. Then they went to Fu Yun Mountain to celebrate, replied another voice, the speaker was the ancestor of sect Master Purple Sun sect, infuriated by the news. Have they lost their minds? They killed my son and now they're celebrating, in another development, Yi Qin Yun was saying, I am originally from the school of Azure Dragon, adept at interpreting the fluctuations of yin and yang like divining the destiny of the universe. Guo Xiao Yun then interjected with a question. Master, why don't you go watch Su Sect Master's Three Sect Martial Arts Tournament? Guo Xiao Yun asked. Yi Qin Yun replied casually, although the tournament may have a prestigious reputation, it's not important to me. It's just a competition between three old men in the sky. I think they might be like a group of old folks practicing extreme martial arts for health benefits. Nothing too exciting to watch, 
I'd rather watch you perform pole dancing, master. As he finished speaking, Yi Qin Yun picked up Pigsy's trident and joked, it's better for you to stay at home and learn this from master. It will make you unbeatable. Seeing Yi Qin Yun's impressive moves, the kid asked, is that true? Master? And what kind of divine weapon is this? Seeing that the boy asked the right question, Yi Qin Yun continued with a multi-level explanation, this is the trident, with a very ancient origin. It's the weapon that General Tian Peng Yuan Shui once used in legend. After a fiery dance, Yi Qin Yun accidentally hit his own waist, causing a spinal injury. Ouch, why is this so difficult, he exclaimed. Trying to hide his embarrassment, he added, holding a sword or spear is the job for someone rough and tough, not suitable for you, dot. So, I'll reconsider, and I'll teach my disciple to play the zither. It might also help in calming the heavens. Bring the zither here for master, Yi Qin Yun said. Hearing about learning the zither, Hua Xiao Yun immediately ran away, but was caught by Yi Qin Yun. The kid shouted loudly, Master, I want to learn martial arts instead. Seeing his disciple despising the musical instrument, Yi Qin Yun explained patiently, You don't understand. Music theory is also a superior form of martial arts. If you master it, you'll be even more formidable than using that trident. After successfully delivering his point, Hua Xiao Yun returned with a curious expression. Is that true, master? Are you really that powerful? he asked. It seems like master needs to demonstrate a bit. It's time to tell you the story of the supreme martial arts where using the celestial zither to suppress the six great sects, Yi Qin Yun said, then, Yi Qin Yun picked up the zither and plucked the strings like playing a zither instead of hitting it. But his disciple was delighted to see his master showing off his skills. Meanwhile, the Mao covered his ears and lay down in distress. Oh my goodness! What's that noise? It's too hard to listen to, it groaned. Then it tried to run away, but Yi Qin Yun caught its tail and said, De Mao, you shouldn't leave like that. The first activity of the sect must be attended by everyone. De Mao, horrified, pleaded, Please let me go, Grandpa. Yi Qin Yun, with a mischievous look, thought to himself, despite his grumbling and hard to listen to complaints, De Mao's appearance is truly the most adorable on this earth, haha. Uh -huh. While the master, disciple, and a dog were enjoying themselves, on the other side, the purple sun patriarch had arrived. He stood listening for a while before saying, What nonsense is this zither playing? How can my son die at the hands of this coward? Then, he gathered his dark energy around the cauldron and declared. I will flatten Fu Yun Mountain altogether, the woman next to him also rejoiced when she saw his Zi Jin cauldron. I heard this cauldron can refine mountains, seas, and all things, it's an ancient divine weapon. Why worry about revenge, she said excitedly, meanwhile, Yi Qin Yun was recounting the events of that year. This story revolves around the reappearance of the heaven demonic piano. The six great sects, driven by greed, wanted to claim it for themselves, leading to the heaven demonic piano making its appearance, he said. Hua Xiao Yun listened intently with wide eyes, while De Mao wore a dark expression, thinking, My master is rambling again. As Yi Qin Yun continued his narration, a peak behind him gathered extreme dark energy. Despite this, he kept on, Huang Shui Mei endured hardships to master the Tian Long Ba Yin, transforming into the six fingered demon piano, seeking revenge on the six great sects. Meanwhile, the woman scoffed. This cunning fellow is about to meet his end, yet he's still spouting nonsense. Then Yi Qin Yun said, Just give her a string of the zither, and as he strummed it, a beam of light shot upward. This zither string had defeated numerous orthodox martial arts masters. Yet Yi Qin Yun was unaware that he had just struck down the two ancient peaks, the shockwave flew toward the two Jade Rabbit sisters, causing them to retreat. The patriarch sneered coldly. Being able to destroy my Z Jean cauldron indeed shows some skill. A hundred years ago, you might have stood a chance against me, but now, it's impossible. Then he unleashed his lethal energy and proclaimed, This time, you will surely die, before charging towards Yi Qin Yun. 
He was getting a bit flustered as he was telling the story and stumbled over his words. But in order to seize this moment to save himself, Yi Qing Yun stood up, holding the zither to one side, and said, seeing the old ancestor's sinister moves, the six-fingered demon piano predicted and swiftly dodged the attack. This caused the old thief to miss his strike and leave him breathless, at that moment, Hua Xiao Yun, frightened, asked, Who are you, and why did you suddenly appear here? To which the patriarch replied, I dominate the world, I am the old ancestor of the Purple Sun sect. Your life is forfeit. Yi Qing Yun, seemingly ignoring the old ancestor's words, closed his eyes and continued playing the zither. The six-fingered demon piano turns the zither into a weapon, unleashing the Tian Long Ba Yin to its extreme. Although he broke through three times, the old ancestor was struck so hard that he couldn't resist, yet he still struggles on, the old ancestor of the Purple Sun sect, shocked, said, his power is too strong. Then Yi Qin Yun broke the final note, creating a beam of light that surged straight towards the old ancestor. After that, he said, the six-fingered demon piano completely defeated old ancestor Wei Tian, and then he conceded defeat. Yi Qin Yun looked at his disciple and said, How does this story sound to you? Guo Xiao Yun asked earnestly. The sect master has cultivated for hundreds of years, and just one tune from the zither has defeated him. Incredible, master. You're the most formidable person I've ever met, haha, <laughs> Yi Qin Yun chuckled in response to his disciples' praise. Outside, the two girls whispered to each other, the powerful aura emanating from the chamber indicates that Purple Sun's sect master has succeeded. That's right, we've finally avenged our great enemy. Yi Qin Yun must be dead, they hadn't finished speaking when Yi Qin Yun turned around and asked, Huh? You two know about me, startling them with fear. Then they saw the Purple Sun sect master kneeling motionless. Which frightened them even more, scratching his head, Yi Qin Yun asked, When did that guy arrive? Guo Xiao Yun quickly explained, When you were playing the zither, he claimed to be Purple Sun sect master. Are you on the same side as him? Witnessing this scene, the boy couldn't resist asking another question, making the two girls want to kneel and beg for mercy. One of them said, we don't know him. He just. Oh, I was just passing by on my way to the market, one of the girls explained. And I was drawn here by the sound of the zither, added the other. Yi Qinyan chuckled and said, so you both enjoy my zither playing? Thinking along those lines, Yi Qin Yun sat down to play another piece because he thought, rare is the harmony, so I want to play another tune for these two. Upon hearing this, both girls immediately knelt down, overwhelmed with emotion. We're done for, at this rate, we might as well reincarnate, one of them lamented, perplexed by their sudden actions, Yi Qin Yun asked, why are you both kneeling? Guo Xiao Yun, standing beside them, explained, Master, they like to kneel to listen. Being urged by their disciple, both girls laughed through their tears and said, Yes, yes, we enjoy kneeling to listen to the zither. Oh my, the preferences of people from different worlds are indeed strange, remarked Yi Qin Yun. He then played a piece of music that made the two girls clutch their heads in existential doubt. Oh heavens, this is too hard to bear. Is he tormenting us? My life is about to end and I have nothing left to regret, hoo hoo, they cried. But then, to their surprise, the zither's music suddenly became less harsh, and even De Mao happily trotted back. Yi Qin Yun chuckled and said, if my zither playing sounds harsh every time, De Mao will truly get angry, switching scenes, in the sky, there was a venerable monk, he was Hui Kong, a disciple of Zhuan Tian City. He remarked, is this where the holy light appears? In his eyes, he saw a young man wielding holy light battling with the evil sect. He continued, encountering the return of the holy sun, we must be extremely careful, then, he looked towards Mount Fuyun and saw the light. He shouted, such holy light must mean the holy sun is inside. A while later, this group of monks landed in front of Yi Qin Yun's house and said, please, holy sun, save the world. Guo Xiao Yun, confused. Asked, which holy son? 
are you looking for my master? He's not here, he went down the mountain to buy vegetables. Why are you shocked? At that moment, Yi Qin Yun was riding a bike he got with free ship from Lucy, happily laughing, while De Mao ran after him panting like a dog, that's the end of the story. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates. Thank you, everyone.